Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we finally have my makeup inventory for 2023. Um, <laughs> this video gives me anxiety and it stresses me out, but I think it's a good way to kind of give myself a gut check and realize how many items I actually have in my makeup collection. So, <sighs> Um, I have filmed all the segments when I'm filming this intro, so I know, and I can tell you right now <laughs> that all, almost every category went up, and that's not really surprising, but I am surprised by how much the categories went up in certain, um, sections. So yeah, I won't keep you too long because I'm sure this is going to be a long video. I think last year it was about an hour, so it's probably going to be about the same. Um, yeah, so I hope you like this video and let's just go and see how crazy my makeup collection is. Okay, so we're starting with primaries. I'm going in the same order that I did last year's makeup inventory video. Uh, to be honest, <laughs> I already filmed this whole section. And I was going on about how I, my numbers went down. No, they didn't. They went up by one because I forgot the primers in my new makeup drawer. So let's start this again. <laughs> so at the top, um, I have travel size primers and minis and I would love to finish up those like very small minis here at some point. Um, the rest are all full size and these two are on their own because they're in my um, project pan for 2023 and then these four are the ones that I forgot about in my new makeup drawer <laughs> and I got all of them from BoxyCharm so those have not been touched yet what I said in the last one so last year I had 27 primers and this year I have 28 <laughs> So I'm really sad about that now because I thought I had 24 because I didn't count these ones. So I did declutter some primers. I know I finished two minis, but I keep getting primers from BoxyCharm. So that's, I'm just going to blame BoxyCharm <laughs> because the only primer I bought last year when I broke my primer no buy after Christmas was the NYX Plump Right Back because I found it in a set with the NYX um, Plump Finish Spray and the set together was less than the price of the primer on its own and I really wanted to try it so yeah I bought that but yeah everything else from BoxyCharm and <laughs> everything is pretty full Except maybe like some of those minis. I don't know. And this VDL primer you would have seen in last year's deck of panning, right? So that has a lot of use on it. But yeah, other than that, I should also be on... Well, I'm back on my no primer buying. If I get one in BoxyCharm and I think I'll like it, I'll keep it. If not, I'll pass it on or sell it on my Poshmark or something. But I kept these ones because they're right up my alley. Like this Laura Geller is hydrating and moisturizing. So kept that. The Dominique Blur and Moisture. The Watermelon Glow Dew Drops from Glow Recipe. Yes. And this Keys Let Me Glow Illuminating Serum. I guess it could be skincare, but I'm going to use it as a primer. So, yeah, those are my 28 primers. Here are my foundations. I think last year I divided these by, like, skin tints versus regular, but now, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's all just messed up. Um, I am counting the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter as a foundation because I use it as a foundation like mixer. I'm not sure if that was in the primer category last year, but now it's in this category. 
Um, then the Makeup by Mario one is my newest foundation. Yes. Um, yeah. And yeah, these three here are skin tints. So the Fenty, the L'Oreal True Match Nude, and this is actually a tinted moisturizer. And that's a little mini from NARS that I had last year and I still <laughs> have now. Um, what is that even? The Soft Matte Complete Foundation. These two are in my project pan for 2023. The Rose Ink Skin Enhance, whatever. The Tarte uh, Hybrid Gel Foundation, which is the oldest foundation in my collection. And these two are in my new makeup drawer. I just recent, recently took them out of the box because I needed more space. <laughs> this is a foundation stick from Jastique. And this is the Pure Lease Ageless Glow Serum BB Cream. It has SPF 40 in it and I realize that it expires next year so I'm gonna have to put that in a project somehow. So I guess once I meet my goal on the rose ink because I think I only had a use goal for that I'll replace it with this because I'd really like to use that before it expires to get the SPF benefits because it's a really good SPF it's um, SPF 40 so yeah that's my story oh so for the numbers <laughs> last year I had 17 and this year I'm happy to say I have 16 so I didn't I know I didn't use up any foundations I think that's just from declutter from decluttering I like to buy foundations um, to review on my channel. You guys really like those videos and I like trying new foundations so I'm not really concerned about this category. I just don't want it to get too much because this like just fits in my foundation primer drawer and I don't want to have to like, you know, have another space for a foundation. So I forgot my Makeup Forever powder foundations. I have two different shades. I really like that product. So I actually have 18 foundations. I knew I that number was too low. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. 18 foundations. Okay, I have another foundation. The Denesum Irix Yummy Skin Balm thing. This is in my foundation category. So I actually have 19 foundations <laughs> okay so here's a smaller category my concealers um last year i had 10 this year i have 11 so i did go up by one i'm not sure why i guess it was this lys triple fix full coverage serum whatever triple fix full coverage brightening concealer but didn't I have that last year? <laughs> I don't know, I'm confused. Yeah, because that's the newest concealer in my collection. And I am counting this little mini Tarte concealer. So, yeah. I know I decluttered some concealers. So I honestly, I don't know why this number is 11, but these two are aside because the Makeup Forever one is in my um, project pan for 2023 and the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer is in my Shop My Stash. So yeah. Other than that, I think I've used, well, except the LYS one because it's still in my new makeup drawer. I think I've used all of these. So I'm not like too concerned about this number. I will say I don't know which of these is my favorite because like the makeup for everyone I really like but only for my face. Anyway, I don't think I'll buy any more concealers unless like something amazing comes along. Oh, I, I know <laughs> why this number went up. The NYX Bear With Me Concealer. I was just reminded of that because 
that's one that I bought because I heard such great things about it. That must be it. Yeah. So, and I do really like it. I've tried it. So, yeah, that's why the number went up. But, um, again, I don't, I'm not concerned about it. I guess the oldest one here is the pretty vulgar one that I got in a boxy charm. Um, but I like that one too. So, yeah. I don't see myself, I, I might declutter the rose ink because I think that shade does not work for me. But, yeah, I'll just keep, you know, rotating through these. So yeah, 11 concealers. Okay, here are my bronzers. Um, so we're getting into the powder products. And this is where it gets a little confusing because I definitely have like other bronzers in palettes. But these are like, when I say bronzers, they're like single bronzers. I count face palettes as their own category. So this number is, um, shocking to me <laughs> because I have 20 bronzers last year I only had 13 so this number went up by seven and that is kind of crazy <laughs> I don't need 20 bronzers especially considering like a lot of the times when I do my makeup I forget to put bronzer on so that's not good um, but anyway, so, yeah, I, up here I have, like, full-size bronzers, then I have these four mini bronzers, and down here I have cream and liquid bronzers, and this is the Rare Beauty Effortless Bronzer Stick, which I haven't used yet, it's still in my new makeup drawer. So what happened here? <sighs> well... I bought the House Labs um, bronzer when I did like a the House Labs video. Uh, I bought the Makeup by Mario. That's like not really a bronzer, but I'm counting it in my bronzer collection. It's the powder that has like a highlighter, and I don't know. You could just you could just swirl it all together and use it as a bronzer. I got this one in Boxy Charm. The Hannah Lay Matte Bronzer. I also got this Lower East Side Cream Bronzer very recently from BoxyCharm. This Tower 28 Bronzino came. You can't really see <laughs> the shade of that because of the light. Um, but that came in like a Sephora favorite set. And this, of course, also came. In, but that's old, so. I don't, I just can't really explain this. <laughs> um, the oldest bronzer in my collection is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I've had that in Project Pens before, but it's still, you know, kicking. There's no pen in sight. So, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to really use up some bronzers. Yeah, because I don't dislike any of these. Except I haven't tried this one yet. Um, and the Rare Beauty one I haven't tried yet, so I don't know. But other... Oh, and the Hannah Lay. But other than that, I think I like all of these. So I don't really know what to say about that. <laughs> Which one am I working on in my project? Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, that explains it. I am working on a bronzer right now, but it's in a face palette, so... Yeah, that's why you don't see it here. This is a little concerning to me. So, gonna try and like focus on these. I think this Fenty Mini has a lot of use on it. Well, I don't know. You can still see the embossing, so maybe not. Anyway, that's my 20 bronzer collection. <laughs> so here are my loose powders. Um, I have eight. Last year I had nine. I think that's because I decluttered. Did I only declutter one? I think my Aveda powder I decluttered. Um, but then I got this giant one from BoxyCharm, the OPV Beauty London. I actually really like that powder though. 
Um, the one next to it, the Ciate Everyday Vacay, I haven't used yet. This one looks like a mini, but it's actually because it's an under eye powder. It's the Becca under eye brightening powder or something. And then in the middle row, I have three minis. I was working on the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. Um, that one's probably... That could be used up if I used it, because <laughs> there's not a lot left. And then these two at the bottom are in my project pan for 2023. The Becca Hydra Mist Mini and the Kat Von D Locket whatever. Um, so yeah, I don't plan on buying any powders because there's still some here that I haven't tried yet and I never use powder so I don't even know <laughs> why I would even think about buying any but yeah I think last year I said like I was kind of into trying powders because I was looking for a powder that would be good for dry skin but that would also like blur my pores and so far I haven't found one so yeah there you go eight powders at least it went down by one but I know it's not because I used one up it's because I decluttered one Okay guys, this is not good. So these are my blushes and I don't know what happened here. Uh, okay, so over here, and I don't even know if you can see behind this container, there's more stuff behind there. But um, this whole section, aside from these three, but this whole section is cream blush. And I have, well, yeah, actually, plus I did count this one, the Freck Beauty. Those three products are just on the side because they're ones that I'm working on right now. So I have 37 cream blushes. Um, last year I had 18, so clearly I went mental about cream blush. And honestly, I bought most of them because I don't know. The only one I know of from BoxyCharm is the Euphoria, and there's one back there, this like white lid. That's like some kind of face gloss, but I'm counting it as a cream blush because it's like a blush color for my skin tone. Um, yeah. Oh, and over here, behind these two, Kaja, which by the way, I think I forgot to count them last year, so that, I mean, at least that accounts for two <laughs> that I already had. But behind there is my Patrick Ta duos. And I'm counting them in the cream blush category because I feel like I use those more for the cream blush and I just like dab a bit of the powder on top. So yeah, 37 cream blushes. And this whole section here was in my new makeup drawer. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six new cream blushes and I think I should not <laughs> buy any more cream blush let's say that right now can I be on a cream blush no why I think so I know I'm gonna buy the house labs blush when it comes out but that's a powder so <laughs> anyway oh god so that's just the cream madness oh and one of those which you can't see behind here is the ABH cream blush stick. My aunt actually gave me hers because she didn't like it. And I was actually want wanting to buy that product so it worked out well for me, but yeah. Everything else I bought and one of them I received from Influencer, the VDL creamy stick, but that's from like two or three years ago. Anyway, then on this side, <laughs> These are all my powder blushes 
and I have 43. Last year I had 35. This is madness to me. Did I really buy? <laughs> I mean, I guess because this whole section here was in my new makeup drawer also. My new makeup drawer is basically blush and eyeshadow. <laughs> and it's not good. Uh, I just love blush. I feel like aside from lip products, blush is my favorite makeup item. And I feel like it makes the most difference in your look too. So maybe that's why I'm okay with like trying more. I don't know. I'm trying to explain this to myself really. But so up in this container is all ColourPop. And I'm counting the Soul Body Shimmering Body Powder, at least that shade, as a blush because it's very pink and on my skin tone it's much too deep for a highlighter. Uh, um, and I'm also counting the one size as one blush because normally, like I said for my bronzers, I don't count like palettes that have multiple shades in them but because that is only a blush palette and it, you're meant to use like all three shades for a look like at the same time I'm gonna say it's one one blush yeah and then yeah everything else I guess is self-explanatory <laughs> and yeah I do have some really exciting oh, new products I didn't even like, in this cream section, I just got the matte, the Charlotte Tilbury matte beauty wand. I'm so excited to try it. I got the pink one. And I also got the Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Flushed thing. I just got those yesterday. Um, <laughs> so clearly, I'm always willing to try new blushes that get released. And then in the new powder section, I have the Too Faced, um, the Cloud Crush. I still haven't tried the Gucci blush. Um, and these Pat McGrath ones and the Dior, like, viral backstage blush in rosy glow. Yes, so in total I have 80 <laughs> blushes. And that is, um, kind of crazy. Considering last year, in total, I had 53. I went up by 27. Oh my god. I blame ColourPop. <laughs> so those heart blushes, though, they're from last year. I did not buy <laughs> the new ones that released. Honestly, I did think about it for a second. And I was like, no, I literally do not have anywhere to put them. So I'm not going to buy them. So I think... I can't be on a blush no buy, that's for sure, but I think I can be on a cream blush no buy because I just bought two and cream blushes don't last as long as powder blushes. So yeah, cream blush no buy, hold me accountable to that. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to highlighter. Okay, so highlighter is another category that went up by a lot more than I thought. <laughs> I blame ColourPop because I have three highlighters here from the Harry Potter collection. Um, the Rare Beauty Silky Touch Highlighter was in my new makeup drawer and I asked for that for Christmas, so that's on me. <laughs> I bought the Michaela Pat two collection last year so yeah I'm not as excited about trying new highlighters as I am blushes so I don't foresee myself like buying many more highlighters yeah and most of these I have because they came in collections or I just thought they were really exciting like the Charlotte Tilbury one that released last year with like the really pretty embossing so I did count the creams and powders separately so I have 14 cream highlighters so that cream or like 
liquid or stick you know what i mean so that's everything in this drawer plus these minis here those are all my creams or liquids or you get it oh and the charlotte tilbury glow wand i wasn't sure if i should count this as a blush or a highlighter because it's in the shade pink gasm it's really more like a blush lighter i don't know these numbers are not that accurate <laughs> let's be honest but anyway that's a cream so oh and these two are just separate because those are the two in my project pan so yeah that's all i have to say about these so yeah 52 highlighters in total and i only had 36 last year so <laughs> Yeah, this is way too many highlighters. Okay, so I thought for my face palettes I would just show you the drawer like I did last year because honestly, I don't feel like taking them <laughs> out. Um, but first I did find another bronzer, my Fenty um, Toasted Swirl Chocolate Swiller. I forgot about this because it doesn't fit anywhere else, so it was in here. So that's one more bronzer. Um, but yeah, these are my face palettes. I counted all of them and I have 45. Last year I had 33 and I'm confused. <laughs> Did I really buy that many face palettes? Well, I blame BoxyCharm for most of them. Um, I did buy the Monarcha blush palette from Melt Cosmetics. So there's that. And I just got this Italian Summer Face Palette from ABH in a BoxyCharm. And then these are all the ones that are in projects or in Shop My Stash. The um, Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. All these packages are so reflective. <laughs> Fenty Beauty Bronzer slash Eyeshadow Highlighter Palette. The Alamar Hydrating Complexion Trio, the Makeup Forever Trio, which looks like this, <clears throat> and the Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo. I count this as a face palette because it has a blush and a highlighter. So there's my face palettes. Somehow I have 45 of them. Okay, so we're getting to the lip category, which is going to be very shocking. <laughs> Maybe not for you, but for me. Um, so this first category is just my, well, I'm calling it lip balm, but it's actually including lip masks and lip oils, clear lip oils, because I would use those as I would a lip balm. Um, last year I had 37 and this year I have 47. So technically this went up by 10, but I think part of it is because I forgot to count some things last year and some things went, like this category is not very accurate. Sometimes you might see things in my lip gloss category or depending on if they're lip oils, but they have a pigment, you know what I mean? So I have other lip oils and other probably tinted lip balms somewhere, but I'm not counting them in this category. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, I still went up by 10. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have four right here from the Harry Potter ColourPop collab so those are new um this one the spirits bees one i got for christmas so that's new um yeah <laughs> um these four here are the ones i'm currently working on so this is a mini laneige sleeping mask that i use in my nighttime skincare routine this is the nyx this is everything lip oil that's my like 
work lip product. <laughs> then this is like my everyday lip balm, the Pure Lease Daily Lip Nourisher. And this Burt's Bees Honey Lip Balm is in my purse. So yeah, those are the ones I'm working on and they're all pretty old so I'm hoping to get those out of my collection and as you can see up here I have another mini Laneige sleeping mask and this purple thing here is another <laughs> Laneige sleeping mask in a full size but that's the gummy bear flavor. So everything on the top is like potted lip balms or lip balms in tubes and everything else in these two rows is like your standard lip balm. Some of them are tinted, but whatever. And then these are clear lip oils down here. So yeah, 47 lip balms. Here are my lip glosses. And this number also went up. <laughs> Last year I had 95. This year I have 112. So I'm not very proud of that because I remember last year saying in my video that I was happy the number was under 100 and now it's over 100 by 12. So not, you know, the greatest. But I will say I think lip gloss is like one of my favorite makeup items like in general of all makeup. And I like almost all of this. So I don't really know what else to say about that. Um, as you can see on this side here, I am also counting the ColourPop Fresh Kiss Lip Creams um, as lip glosses. And I also include lip plumpers and lip oils that have color. So it's not just like specifically lip gloss, but still, it's a lot, um, yeah. And the reason, I don't really have like much to say specifically, but there's um, this sample Dior thing. I had, that, I had that last year and I still have it, but that along with these two lip glosses, which you can't really see, are in my... Um, lip products like on the chopping block they're in my box so those could be going unless I end up loving them um, and these ones this like chunk here is separate because these four are in projects or in shop my stash currently and this little Westman Atelier duo this was in my new makeup drawer and there is a well it's called a lip balm I'm pretty sure it's called a liquid lip balm so I'm counting this as a lip gloss also so yeah 112 lip gloss slash lip oil slash lip plumper products I started putting stuff away and I realized I do have another lip gloss. It was hiding um, this Luna Lovegood lip gloss from the ColourPop Harry Potter collection because all the other lip products in that collection were lip balms or liquid lipsticks but I forgot that this one is a lip gloss so I actually have 113 lip glosses. Okay, this one is exciting for liquid lipsticks and this includes like liquefied lipsticks, you know, like liquid lipsticks that don't dry down. So last year I had 88 and this year I have 86. <laughs> so we went down by two. And I know that's from um, me like trying my liquid lipsticks in my um, chopping lock project which you haven't seen because I don't I haven't filmed that the lip portion of that anyway I just do it like on my own time um, and also like passing on ones to friends because I don't really reach for liquid lipstick so I still have tons of it 
as you can see. But what I have here is either I haven't tried it yet or I have tried it and I like it. And the only new liquid lipstick that I have, well, aside from the ColourPop ones, those are, by the way, the Lux Velvet liquid lipsticks that I got in the Harry Potter collection. Um, aside from that, I also got these three Odin's Eye liquid lipsticks because I bought a mystery box last year, around this time actually. And then this one is my newest one that I got in a boxy charm. This is a Hydro Matte liquid lipstick. By the way, I just realized I did, never knew what this brand was. Give them Lala. Apparently, it's somebody from Vanderpump Rules. Is that what it's called? I guess it's a reality show. I have no clue, obviously. <laughs> But this is a liquid lipstick, as you can see. It's called a Hydro Mac, so maybe I'll like it. Who knows? If not, I'll pass it on because, like I said, I don't really reach for liquid lipsticks that much. Here are my bullet lipsticks. Yes, I'm just trying to see if anything else is part of this category. Um, like, there's also the ColourPop Glowing Lips and the... ColourPop tinted lip balms from the Hello Kitty collection, but they perform like bullet lipsticks, so I'm counting them in this category. And this category I knew was gonna go up because, for example, I got this little MAC party vault full of lipsticks for my birthday, um, and I got these, all these are in my new makeup drawer, the ones that are still in boxes here. But I am kind of surprised by how much it went up because last year I said I had 93 and this year I have 127. <laughs> so yeah, that's a lot. And I'm wondering if maybe I forgot to count this uh, MAC like vault last year. Could that be a reason? I don't know, because there's 12 mini lipsticks in there. But a lot of these are minis. Um, not that it really makes a difference, because apparently I can't finish up mini lipsticks either. <laughs> this one is on its side here. Um, it's just a mini ABH lipstick, because it's in my deck of panning. But nothing else here is in a project. Oh, one of those um, MAC lipsticks that are back in there was in my shop my stash but other than that <laughs> I'm not working on any of these right now so maybe that's a sign I need to bring in some lipsticks in my projects but anyway yes I have 127 lipsticks I don't know if I'll be decluttering many of them unless they're bad because I don't know, I find lipsticks, you can make them work. Like, even if you don't like the color, maybe you can put a gloss over it or, like, change the color with a lip liner. So, I feel like it's rare that I declutter lipsticks. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But this is my lipstick collection for now. So, this category is what I call my lip crayons. And I think it went down. <laughs> Last year I had 21, and this year I have 19, but I don't know how that would have happened, and I feel like I probably just am missing something, because I can't remember decluttering any of these. I don't know. And even last year, I see on my paper, I wrote 18 and then I scratched it off and then I wrote 19 and I scratched it off and then I wrote 21 So it seems like I found some <laughs> somewhere else But I really I looked everywhere and I don't know where else they could be so Let's say this category went down nothing really special to say about these They're just lip crayons some of them are like more like matte like the NARS ones 
And then the ColourPop ones are kind of more like tinted lip balms really, but they're in this category. So yeah, 19 lip crayons. This is the last category of my lip products. Um, these are my lip liners. Last year I had 33, this year I have 44. So it did go up by 11. And I'm not really surprised by that because uh, I, I'm always looking for like a really good lip liner and I don't mind having different options. As long as I don't have too many that are the same, um, I'm probably going to just keep all of these. And as you can see, I did get four new lip liners recently. So each one of these lip kits from ColourPop from the Barbie, what was it? the Malibu Barbie collection. There's one lip liner in each of those. And I did just get this Makeup by Mario lip liner like two days ago <laughs> because it was on my wish list for years and it's been out of stock and it finally came back. It's the shade Travis and I'm really excited about it. And if you're wondering why it's such a long package, because I was wondering, it's because it comes with a sharpener. So. It's not like an extra long lip liner or anything. But yeah, these are my lip liners and I rotate through them quite often. And I just realized I had two more <laughs> because they're in my project pan, these two. The MAC Soar and Bodyography Rosewood. So I actually have 46 <laughs> lip liners. Oh geez. Like I said, lip liners, I'm not too concerned about it. They all fit in this, you know, cup here. So yeah, 46 lip liners. Okay, so we're on to the eye products um, category. So we'll start with eye primer. I have four. Uh, I did have three last year, but I just got this one. Ugh. Um, this one from the Beauty Crop in my boxy charm. Um, and last year I did get a, a primer in a boxy charm, but I sold it on my Poshmark because I was like, there's no way I'm ever gonna get to this. <laughs> so I would have had five, but I sold one. And I think I'll just keep this one because. These two, well, the NYX Glitter Primer is like a separate thing. Um, I don't ever need to have multiples of those, but I'd like to always have a glitter primer, even though I forget to use it half the time. And then the Urban Decay Primer Potion is the one I'm trying to use up. I think it's like still half full. And then when that's done, I'll move on to this Angel one, but that one is tinted and I'm not sure if I'll like it, which is why I'm keeping the new one. Anyway, so I have four eye primers. I probably only need two, but like I said, I get them in BoxyCharm, so there you go. Here's another smaller category for eyes. These are my eyeshadow sticks. This category actually went down by one. Last year I had nine, and this year I have eight. And I'm not really sure how, <laughs> because I know this e.l.f. one is new and I don't know, I maybe had more of the Laura Mercier minis. I think that rings a bell now, but I passed them on. So maybe that's why it went down by one. And I'm not surprised because I don't normally buy eyeshadow sticks. It's not something I use in like my daily routine. I just bought the e.l.f. one because I was really intrigued by the color of it. But other than that, I don't really foresee myself buying more shadow sticks. So yes, I'm happy with eight. And these three on the side here are actually glitter, but they're still unopened. And they were unopened last year also. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, eight shadow sticks. Here are my eyeliners, and I do combine liquid liners 
and gel and pencil like it doesn't matter to me but I did separate them just for visual purposes so this section here is all my liquid liners and then the rest are all gel or pencil these two were in my new makeup drawer they're just black liquid liners and this black pencil liner is in my project pen and that nude um, liner from Tarte is it lives in my everyday makeup drawer basically because I use it quite often if you've seen my other videos you would know I don't really wear eyeliner very often I am trying to do so by including it in like shop my stash and projects and everything but yeah I need to practice I think and I did get four new well I got more than four but I these four Harry Potter ones came in the Harry Potter collection so those are brand new yeah and I do keep getting them in BoxyCharm because well I guess for most people it makes sense to get a new liner every month if it's something they're using in their everyday routine but I don't so yeah probably some of these are like dried up and I just don't know because I haven't had a chance to use them yet but last year I had 26 and this year I have 37 so it did go up by a lot but I'm not like super concerned because they all fit in these in this little like spinny thing that I have I just need to rotate through them and see which ones I like or which ones are not even usable anymore because I'm sure some of the liquid liners are dry up but anyway those are my 37 eyeliners here are my single eyeshadow products this is really like a combination of a bunch of <laughs> different things like liquid shadows potted singles like single eyeshadows in pots you know what I mean? <laughs> um, last year I had 50 and this year I have 53 so it didn't go up by much which is good and not surprising because I'm more of an eyeshadow palette kind of person um, I honestly don't reach for these unless they get pulled into projects I did buy so these four are separate because they were in my new makeup drawer and I did buy these two the Kat Von D sorry the KVD shadow stick um, because the color just looks so pretty and Lauren May Beauty influenced me <laughs> to buy it and I also bought this NYX one because also the color looked really fun and unique to my collection but I haven't used it yet and then this little one is a, actually a sample from Sephora of the Denisa Myricks Twin Flames. Yeah, so I should probably get to using these liquid ones especially because they do tend to dry out, especially like glitter formulas. But yeah, so I have 53 of those and... That's all I have to say about these. <laughs> Here are my eyebrow products. And this is another category where I just put everything in the same bucket. So I have brow powders, brow pencils. I have a tinted brow like fiber thing from Kosas. I have the NYX brow pen. And then all of these here are clear brow products. And then these two are separate, my Patrick Ta Shaping Wax and my Kosas Brow Pencil, I forget what it's called, because those two are in my everyday makeup drawer currently, and they're in my project pan. So yeah, last year I had 14, and this year I have 19, so I did go up by 5 because of BoxyCharm really. <laughs> Um, and the Kosas products, so I have the clear one, the tinted, and the pencil. Those all came in a set together. 
Um, I don't mind having a lot of clear brow products because that's something I use every time I do my makeup. So yeah, I do have ones that are obviously still in the box. I haven't used them yet. So we'll see. This category is one that I always rotate through also. So I'm not very concerned about it. And sometimes I use like three different brow products at once, like a pencil, a gel. Well, no, I really only use two products at once. Pencil and gel or a tinted thing and a pencil, you know? So yeah, and this thing here, I opened it because it's actually like a brow kit. So it has like tweezers, a spoolie, a brow pencil. It has like a waxier kind of, well, I think it's a concealer actually. I haven't used it <laughs> enough, clearly. It has like a eyeshadow in it, like for highlighting. So it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so those are my brow products. I have 19 in total. Here's the category I finally went down in, my mascaras. Last year I had 16 and this year I have nine. So I'm really happy about that. And actually these four here are all in my everyday makeup drawer and they're all different. So my like everyday mascara, I guess, is the Fenty one. It's a black mascara. And then I have the Charlotte Tilbury Dream Pop or something. It's like a berry brown. And this white one is actually a primer, so I only use that when I come across a mascara that I don't like on its own. So I was using that with my previous mascara that I just put in my empties. And then this mini is actually my only waterproof mascara, and I bring it with me if I'm traveling or sometimes in the winter I wore that if it was a day where I was wearing makeup outside and it was snowing or something like that. So I'm not too concerned. And I only have five new mascaras, which is great. Last year my issue was I had way too many new mascaras that were old. And by the time I got to them, I realized they were like dried up or in some cases not even usable. So I had to get rid of them but I'm gonna be better about rotating my mascaras this year and getting rid of ones that I don't like. Like, I feel like in the past I've worn mascaras that I hated just because I had them and I don't need to be doing that <laughs> anymore. So I got um, these three in BoxyCharm, the Mini Tartlet, tubing mascara I asked for that for Christmas and the mini rare beauty I bought for myself in a little like kit with a mini eyeshadow palette I think in the last VIB sale so I'm doing pretty good with only nine mascaras and four of them are in use so yeah I'm very happy about this category okay for eyeshadow palettes I really don't want to have to take them all out because they're all in different drawers and I do actually want to film an eyeshadow palette collection where I actually organize everything by brand um, and show you like the insides of the palettes and everything um, but for the inventory I'll just show you the drawers where the palettes are and I'll tell you the numbers so this is my new makeup drawer yes I know it's <laughs> It's out of control again. Um, but in my new makeup drawer alone, I have 19 palettes already, which is a choice. Um, as you can see, I did get the Odin's Eye Perfect World collection. So there's three palettes right there. I have a bunch from BoxyCharm. Um, I still have new palettes in here in the back from last year, like the Odin's Eye Christmas collection, the Pat McGrath Labs holiday release. I did actually buy two palettes from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. There's only one here because I couldn't fit the other one because it's so big. 
so I'm very excited to use those. Um, yeah, so there's 19 eyeshadow palettes in this drawer. And I'll just keep moving on to the drawers and tell you the numbers. And then in the end, add them up. In this drawer, which is the bottom, like, deepest drawer in my desk, I have 41 palettes. As you can see, they don't even fit in here anymore. <laughs> They're kind of a mess, which is why I want to film a eyeshadow palette collection video so I can organize my palettes. And yeah, this these are new. These this pile here, they're kind of like um overflow from my new palette drawer, like this one I was referring to from Blend Bunny, the dollhouse palette. Very excited about this, but it doesn't fit in my new makeup drawer, so it's in here. This is my mini palette drawer, which is pretty well organized. Um, I have 44 palettes in this drawer, starting from here to here. Those are actually lashes, so those don't count, but everything else is a mini palette in my opinion. And I don't count mini palettes by like how many pens, it's actually like the size of them, <laughs> so yeah, to me, like, th for example, this Too Faced palette, this is supposed to be, you know, a full-size palette, but it's so small, and it fits in my mini palette drawer, so it's a mini palette. <laughs> so, yeah, 44 palettes in this drawer. This is my second, like, deep drawer in my desk, and the last, like, palette drawer that I have. This drawer is a mess. There's actually tons of new palette overflow in this drawer too, which is this. Um, but I did count everything, including that pile I just showed you, and there, there are 52 palettes in this drawer. Ugh, and it's a mess, as you can see. This is what it looks like when everything is in there. Here we have the palettes. Um, that are in my Shop My Stash or my Pan Those Eyeshadows projects or any kind of other projects really which you would have seen if you watch my other videos so in this display thing, it's just like an acrylic palette organizer I got on Amazon I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 palettes here and finally in this box this is like my chopping block box, which I don't talk about often, but you may have seen it if you watched like the video I did about my chopping block project, I guess is what I'm calling it. Um, in this box, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight palettes. So I am counting these, but the thing about this box is these are palettes that I'm considering decluttering and if I try them and I don't like really like how it looks then I just pass them on so these could could or could not be staying in my collection so there's eight palettes here and I do have one more place where I keep eyeshadow palettes which is below here so I'll just get those because it's a weird angle so I have the ColourPop Harry Potter palette. These are palettes like I want on display or that are just too bulky <laughs> to fit anywhere else. Like this one from Storybook Cosmetics, the Little Briar Rose palette. And this Tarte like holiday set, I think I count as an eyeshadow palette. Um, so it actually has like eyeshadows here, but also like a face palette here, but I'm pretty sure I count it as eyeshadow. So that is three more eyeshadow palettes. So let me add all of the numbers and tell you the total. Okay, so this is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> uh, last year I had 124 palettes, if I counted correctly. This year I have 176 palettes 
that is a little crazy um <laughs> and as you can see i can barely fit my palettes in my makeup room well this is also like my office and you know it's not just makeup but still they barely fit properly so i really need to do something about that as you can see i am trying to you know declutter and find what works for me or what doesn't but i just love eyeshadow palettes so i don't really know what else to say about that i do get a lot of eyeshadow palettes in boxycharm too so it's not that i'm constantly buying like i do buy my boxycharm obviously but I'm not like going to the store specifically for eyeshadow palettes um, as much. I don't know. Like the newest palettes in my collection are the Odin's Eye ones and the Blend Bunny Cosmetics because I really just saw way too many good reviews <laughs> about them and I had to try them for myself. But other than that, I think I should try to not buy as many eyeshadow palettes because it's getting a little out of hand. So yeah, 176 eyeshadow palettes in my collection. And if you wanna see an eyeshadow palette collection specific video where I show you all my palettes, let me know below. I'm probably gonna do it anyway because I honestly just wanna do it for myself because a lot of my palettes have never been used and I wanna look at them. <laughs> and remember what they are so yeah there's one more category of products and then we're finally done filming this inventory so let me show you my setting sprays okay my final category are setting sprays um another category that went up of course um last year i had 16 this year i have 22 which i know 22 setting sprays <laughs> is a lot, um, but I love setting spray. I love trying new setting sprays. I am on a setting spray no buy, but I got two in my boxy charm. Those two that are still in the box, and this white one here is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin. That's in my project pan. Um, a lot of these are minis or like travel size and I do have a duplicate that's the MAC Fix Plus. I have two minis but one is like the new packaging so I keep them separate so that I remember to use the old one up first. Um, MAC Fix Plus is my favorite setting spray if you're wondering. <laughs> that's why I have five minis of it. I did have a full size but I finished it. Um, yeah, so I rotate through these quite often and yeah, I pull them into projects whenever I can. So I don't really know what else to say about this. I definitely don't need this many, so hopefully I can use some up, like the mini ones. These two are like very small. Like this Urban Decay, that's actually even just like a sample. And the Milani Make It Dewy has a lot of use on it, so that one's almost empty. But the others, honestly, are pretty full. Even the mini MAC ones, um, there's still a lot of use to go on those. Maybe the Tatcha one I could finish this year. But the big size, like the regular size ones, they're all pretty full. So yeah. Uh, 22 setting sprays and that is finally the end of this inventory that took me like two months to film. So that was my makeup inventory for 2023. It's a little extreme I know. Um, I do plan on going on several no buys. <laughs> um, I am going to continue my primer no buy, my um, setting spray no buy which I was doing a really good job at last year um, but I did end up breaking it in December um, but I only bought one thing in each category but yeah as someone who subscribed to boxycharm and boxy lux 
I'm gonna be getting a lot of products in my collection and not and since I don't wear makeup every day like it shouldn't be surprising to me or anyone <laughs> that I'm not using up more than that comes in you know so yeah anyway I don't want to like make it seem like I'm upset at these numbers I just because I love trying new things obviously and I make content surrounding makeup so i'm clearly gonna have a lot of it but i would like to you know kind of ease up on certain categories and really try to use up more products but that's what i'm doing anyway with my project pens and my deck of panning and all that good stuff so yeah i hope you liked this video if you did give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video Bye.